Agricultural exports from Japan to overseas markets are growing. In 2023, the export value of farm, fisheries, and food products reached a record high of nearly $9.2 billion, while shipments to China have declined following the release of treated wastewater from Tokyo Electric Power Company's Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Station. Those to the U.S., Hong Kong, and other regions have risen. Driving exports is the high quality of agricultural products in addition to technologies to ensure freshness. While ocean transport takes longer than air, large volumes can be shipped at low cost. Fruits, vegetables, and other products can now be more easily transported by sea. I'm at the OI container terminal at the port of Tokyo. They have special refrigerated containers here that keep fruits and vegetables fresh for an extended period of time. I'm going to have a look. Ocean Network Express, or ONE for short, is jointly invested in by three major marine transport companies, including NYK Line. The company's predecessor had been using such containers to transport vegetables and other fresh produce since 2013. Where is that special refrigerated container? This is the CA container. On the outside, it looks like a typical container. Controlled atmosphere containers are said to have temperature control as well as other functions. I see all kinds of equipment. How does this work? Here we have a device called CA control, which removes nitrogen from outside air and sends it into the container. That puts fresh produce into a sleep state so that it stays fresh for a long time. Vegetables and fruits continue to draw in oxygen and breathe after being harvested. As they use stored nutrition to do that, the quality declines. CA containers extract nitrogen from outside air and supplies it to adjust concentrations inside. Air typically has an oxygen content of 21%, while for avocados it's from 2 to 6%. They're designed to reduce the oxygen content to keep produce from breathing and induce a sleep-like state, thereby preventing the quality from degrading. Exports from Japan go to various Southeast Asian countries, primarily leafy greens and fruits, such as musket grapes, sweet potatoes, cabbages, peaches, and mandarin oranges. We can deliver them to Singapore in about 10 days. By using CA containers, the produce can be put on local store shelves, ripe and ready to eat. Tests show that peaches and lettuce remain juicy even after two weeks. CA containers are seen as addressing the drawback of marine transport, allowing produce to be stored over the long time it takes to reach its destination. But will they become more widespread? High-quality Japanese foods are growing in popularity across Asia and overseas. With the Japanese government also promoting food exports, we believe the markets will continue to grow. There are other freshness-preserving technologies beyond CA containers. At Nagoya University, research is being carried out to use the component of this wasabi for freshness preservation. Excuse me. It's being researched by a group led by Nagoya University professor Toshinori Kinoshita. They found that BITC, which gives wasabi and other brassicalis plants their spiciness, suppresses wilting caused by dryness. This is an experiment using chrysanthemums. One is treated with BITC and they're left in the same condition for three hours. The chrysanthemum without BITC is wilted, while leaves of the BITC-treated plant extend firmly. How exactly does BITC work? We apply the agent to keep the stomata closed. That makes it difficult for water to escape, so it doesn't become wilted. Plants breathe through stomata on the surface. When the lip-like stomatic cells draw in BITC, the stomata close and breathe less, 
The loss of moisture is prevented, keeping the plant crisp. I notice this from when it was applied, but I do smell that pungent aroma, similar to wasabi, that hits your nose. They say BITC can suppress wilting for half a day to one day, while the molecularly modified strengthened version can do so for two days to five days. What are the potential uses? BITC is used as a chemical, so it can't be used for food until it's confirmed to be safe. But if we can confirm its safety, we believe it can be used in the future as a produce and food preserver for things we eat, since it's originally a naturally derived spice component. We know that molecularly enhanced BITC, the strengthened version, has a longer lasting effect. So we think it can be used for fresh cut flowers and plants we don't eat to keep them fresh. The Japanese government is aiming to increase the export value of farm, fisheries and food products to more than $30 billion by 2030. Advancements in freshness preserving technologies may help feed that growth. <laughs>